All right, welcome back to the next episode of season five. So we're on episode six. So last episode had a lot of setup going on. Oh, Sansa saw Theon. Rachel Wick. And John decided he's going to let the wildlings go and mm -hmm. try to get them to come back down. Stannis left the wall. Stannis left the wall. Martin Torres went to Winterfell. Going to Winterfell. Uh, Daenerys killed one of the... Masters. Mm-hmm. Or the great heads of a great family. And Marine mm -hmm. decided she's going to marry the slimy dude that you think's in... I think he... he, he, he think he's, he's doing the, all in mm -hmm. charge of all the... Yeah, I think he's... Sons of the out. Harpy. Mm-hmm. And Jorah and Tyrion met the great... The great... <laughs> The gray joys. <laughs> the, gray, the people with the gray scale. The gray scale. And uh, Jorah got infected. Yeah. Serves him right for kidnapping my Tyrion. I'm just saying. I mean, the queen don't want you back. Are you going to be kidnapping my Tyrion? Well, he's got to do what he's trying to do whatever he can to get back on her. He just, I mean, side. but his character sucks because he, he was spying on her. To get back in with the Lanners, not the Lannisters, but King's Landed, Robert, King yeah. Robert, right? He's trying to get and back then it starts, to Westeros. Right? Now he's doing this again, so that's his character. Let me do what I need to do to get to where I need to be. You do what, do what you know. <laughs> yeah. Hopefully it works, but you never know. Yeah. But anyway, let's get started. All right, let's see where the next episode takes us. My son Jorah fled Westeros. He brought dishonor to our house. Oh, that was his son. Yeah. And that's why he ended up there? Yeah, I think so. Stone man. Can any of them touch you? I uh, probably touched him when he was stabbing. Yeah. The Eyrie is mine. The last time the Lords of the Eyrie formed an alliance with the Lords of the North, they brought down the greatest dynasty this world has ever known. Cersei so sent for me. I expect I'll be a married woman by the time you return. I hope I can make her happy. Mm. Enough. I'll never hurt her. Your brother was murdered while you sit here doing nothing. The Sand Snakes are with me. We're rescuing my niece, bringing her back to her family. You ever been to Dawn? <laughs> the Dawn is so crazy. Yeah, we serve the many-faced God to serve well. The girl must be coming over. Mm -mm. I wouldn't be doing nothing with her. So I'd pop her in her freaking face. <laughs> Seems more exciting outside of King's Landing than it is inside King's Landing. I'm just saying. Oh, yeah. From the last episode. My well, hair is nice and kept now. Well, she's taking pride in her in her work. Her work. <laughs> mm. <laughs> you get it. nosing around again. What are they doing with the bodies? Get back to work. I'm not scrubbing one more corpse until you tell me why I'm doing it. You will know why. When? When it's time. When do I get to play the game? Game? The game of faces? Yeah. Who are you? No one. Well, who are you? I'm from Westeros. Daughter of a lord. Except I was an only child. My mother died. My father remarried and his new wife gave birth to a girl. He tried to kill me with poison. I found out. Sought help from the faceless men. I've been serving them ever since. <laughs> Was that true? Or a lie? What? 
<laughs> she said, What? <laughs> what? Get back to work. <laughs> She's like, dang girl, how many bodies I got to scrub up in here? <laughs> Who are you? Who are you? Oh, yeah. And where did you come from? Westeros. I'm the youngest daughter of a great lord. Eddard Stark. He died in battle. A lie. An outlaw kidnapped me. A man called Polliver. A man called the Hound, Sandor Clegane. He tried to sell me, but was wounded in a fight. He begged me to kill him, but I wouldn't. I left him in the mountains to die. I hated him. I hated him. That's not a lie. A girl lies to me, to the many-faced God, to herself. Does she truly want to be no one? Hit me with that stick one more time. I'm going to take it. Stupid game anymore. We never stop playing. I'm going to take that stick and, and, and beat the crap out of you with it. So, those villagers we were supposed to find. We can't live on berries and roots. I can. <laughs> You're an awful traveling companion. Do you know that? I'm not your traveling companion. We are traveling together. In each other's company, therefore, you ever shut up. Landing <laughs> the Pentos in a crate without ever saying a word. Why? You never wondered why Tyrion Lannister decided to visit a brothel in Volantis. I killed my father. He wanted to execute me for a crime I didn't commit. <laughs> You're like, oh. Oh, I, I get it now. <laughs> Miserable as you are, Mormont, at least your father was a good man. What do you know about my father? I met him. He actually cared about the people under his command. How do they put it in the watch? We shall never see his like again. How can I didn't send him to the wall? Oh, you didn't know your daddy was dead? You didn't know. <laughs> I'm sorry. How? He was leading an expedition beyond the wall. There was a mutiny. He was murdered by his own men. Hmm. Hmm. the floors. Hmm. Vala Magulis. Vala Dairis. I have nowhere else to go. I've taken her to every healer in Bravos. I just want it to end. Yeah. It hurts. You know, don't be afraid. I used to be like you. I was sick. My father prayed to the many-faced God, and I drank the water from his fountain. It healed me. I know somebody gonna stop her from to him now. It's poison. I mean, you know, I think it's poison water. Everybody die. Drink. Is the girl ready? No, a girl is not ready to become no one. <laughs> but she's ready to become someone else. And she gonna become an old person when she young. I mean, why is she worth all this? You believe in anything? I believe in lots of things. In something greater than ourselves, I mean. The gods. Destiny. No. Neither did I. I was a cynic, just like you. And then I saw a girl step into a great fire with three stone eggs. 
When the fire burned out, I thought I'd find her blackened bones. Instead, I saw her, alive and unhurt, holding a baby dragon's. It's hard to be a cynic after that. <laughs> Doesn't mean she's going to be a great queen. The Targaryens are famously insane. What if she conquers the world? Then what? A thousand years of peace and prosperity. So a woman who has not spent a single day of her adult life in Westeros becomes the ruler of Westeros? That's justice? She's the rightful heir. Why? Because her <laughs> father who burned living men for amusement was the king? <laughs> it's a slave ship. Why are they anchored? They probably came ashore for water. Got a lot of fight in you, huh? Oh, no. Touch him. No, touch him. Salt mines? Yeah. That? Our galley slave. What about the dwarf? <laughs> Cut his throat. Wait, 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 wait! Let's discuss this! And then <laughs> chop off his cock. What? Tell it for a fortune. The dwarf's cock has magic powers. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> He has to know it came from a dwarf! And how could he know? Unless he sees the dwarf! It will be a dwarf-sized cock. Guess again. <laughs> the dwarf lives until we find a cock merchant. At least they can, can talk his talk way, way out of it. Yeah. Him is Queen Daenerys has outlawed slavery. Besides, she reopened the fighting pits. I've never heard of free men fighting in the pits. The fighting pits in Marine. You're in luck then. You are looking at one of the great warriors in the Seven Kingdoms. You've got to be 60 years old. <laughs> sure, he's a bit long in the tooth, a bit withered, but he's a veteran of a hundred battles. They wrote songs about him. What song is that? Well, I would like to know. That true? He won the tournament at Lannis Port. Unseating Sir Jamie Lannister himself. Jousting. A fancy game for fancy lads. The men who fight in the pits of Marine will swallow him whole. I killed a Dothraki blood rider in single combat. Liar. His name was Corso. He was blood rider to Carl Drogo. Take me to Slaver's Bay. Put a sword in my hand. I'll prove my worth. Hmm. Yes. Lancel Lannister. Mm -hmm. The city has changed since you were here last. We flooded the gutters with wine and set the godless on the run. Well done. Mm -mm. I'm here on urgent business for the Queen Mother. Should I send word that I'll be delayed? Step carefully, Lord Baelish. You'll find there's little tolerance for flesh peddlers in the new King's Landing. We both peddle fantasies, Brother Lancel. Mine just happen to be entertaining. <laughs> Oh, now you grew some balls. Do oh. you think it's wise, <laughs> Grace? Arresting the heir to Highgarden. House Tyrell won't tolerate this insult. House Tyrell won't tolerate it. I'm the insulted party, Lord Baelish. Sir Loras was promised to me. Instead, he chose the company of boys. One's choice of companion is a curious thing. <laughs> War comes to Westeros where the Knights of the Vale fight for their king. Young Lord Robin heeds my advice. And I have always counseled loyalty to the throne. Good. There is another matter, Your Grace. Something so urgent I couldn't trust the words to a raven. I have found Sansa Stark. Mm. Alive and well and home again. Living at Winterfell. That's not possible. My sources are well placed. Yeah, you took her there, you jackass. We were fools to trust a turn cloak. Mm. Marrying his son to the last of the Starks gives him more legitimacy in the North than an alliance with a hated Southern House. Bruce Bolton is a traitor. Stannis Baratheon is also a traitor. Marching with his army on Winterfell. Let Stannis and Roots battle. Let the enemies of the throne slaughter each other, and when they're done, seize Winterfell from whichever thief survives. Surely your Uncle Kevin could muster a force. My Uncle Kevin has all the courage of a kitchen mouse. Perhaps I can help. The Knights of the Vale are some of the best fighters in Westeros. And if you succeed? Name me Warden of the North. Hmm. 
Of course. I'll speak to the king this evening. That dirty little... <laughs> I'm going to ask you tomorrow. I want you to be my wife. Now. All his hormones must be... Mm -hmm. <laughs> we, we can't. Not yet. Why not? Okay, well, let's wait till we... Well, let's wait till we get to that point. They make a lovely couple. A Lannister and a Martell. We must protect them. Yes, my prince. You haven't had to use that axe of yours in a long time. I hope you remember how. I remember how. You kill that man. Her kisses were warmer than spring. So he must be disabled. Because you see, the, it's, that was like a wheelchair. You got little wheels on it. Sweet as All right, peach. that's enough. I'm trying to blend in. Y'all ain't blended in. Y'all white as I don't know what. Them people. I know, right? Brown. <laughs> Once we've got the princess, then what? I like to improvise. That explains the golden hand. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is talking too much. Put Ogre in. Put Ogre in. Girl's gonna end up digging. Now she is. So everybody know they always in the garden, huh? Mm -hmm. That's what all people do is walk around in the gardens on this ship. <laughs> well, she's made herself at home. <laughs> yeah. Marcella? Uncle Jamie? I don't understand. What are you doing here? Let's speak in private. I am Tristan Martel. Tristan is my intended. We weren't expecting you, Lord Jamie. Why don't you let them have some time alone, son? Hmm. Let's not do something stupid. <laughs> that was something stupid. He'll be fine, I promise, but we have to. <laughs> like her daddy, huh? Mm-hmm. All the dancing and he better not die. I'm just saying, he better not die going there and help Jamie. You're coming with me. I don't want to. I wasn't asking you. Uh-oh. Like that can't see them in the... Drop your weapons. When you were whole, it would have been a good fight. <laughs> you fight pretty good for a little girl. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Come on, fight, woman. Yep. Yeah. So the little cripple king know how to rule the... <laughs> I won't call him cripple, but you know. Oh, you could smell the shit from five miles away. Oh, why have we stopped? Go on! <laughs> <laughs> Rumors and gossip. That's all they've got. If they arrested all the pillow biters in King's Landing, <laughs> there'd be no room left in the dungeons for anyone else. Everyone knew. No one cared. He was the king's brother. And Loras is the queen's brother. Cersei's behind it. Yes, of course she is. And let me deal with Cersei Lannister. Your Grace, I have traveled a long way. Put the pen down, dear. We both know you're not writing anything. Ah, yes. The famously tart-tongued Queen of Thorns. And the famous tart Queen Cersei. Hmm. Beg your pardon? I know you're behind this absurd incarceration of my grandson. I was as shocked as anyone when the Faith arrested Sir Loras. Has the Crown suddenly stopped needing the troops, gold and wheat, my house supplies? As I said... I didn't imprison anyone. Hmm. The High Septon has called for an inquest, not a trial. Loras will be freed. Our happy alliance will continue. Good day, Lady Olenna. Hmm. 
She killed you. She's gonna get you, girl. She gonna get who? Cersei. Don't piss off Lady Olena. She done killed your son. You just don't know it. Mm -hmm. You were said to be despondent when he died. Witnesses state that you refused to leave his bedside. He was my friend. Do you deny all the charges against you? Of course I deny them. You never lay with Renly Baratheon. Nor any other man. Never. That will be all, Siloris. Faith calls Queen Marjorie forward. You call me forward? Yes, we have some questions for you. This, this, what? Now, King Tomlin, you need to step up. How do you respond to these charges against your brother? They are lies. Queen Marjorie, in the presence of the gods, you swear that your brother is innocent of these charges against him. To the best of your knowledge? Yes, I swear it. Thank you, Your Grace. Uh -huh. This jack wagon. <laughs> she gonna end, he gonna end up arresting the queen, ain't he? How did you come to meet? I squired for him. He took a liking to me. He summoned me to his chamber the first day we met. Mm -hmm. And what occurred in his chamber? We engaged in intimate relations. I was going to say pillow talk. I mean, <laughs> pillow what? What the cop? Is there anyone else who can support your claim? Yes, Queen Marjorie. She walked in on us once, not long ago. No! Ah! Insult to a great house. Why should the faith or anyone else take the word of a squire over the heir to Highgarden? He has a birthmark, Your Grace. Quite high on his thigh. Wine colored and roughly the shape of dawn. The faith is satisfied there is enough evidence to bring a formal trial for Sir Loras and Queen Marjorie. What? Take her. No. Tom it. Tom it. Boy, you better do uh Thomas! 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 I will bring her dead. Take your little. Ah. She ain't. Uh. Come on, we got it. Uh uh. For real, are you freaking kidding me? What? She gonna die, man. What's she gonna die? She just turned my inside. <laughs> Ugh, can't stand her. What do you want? Lord Ramsay sent me to draw your bath, my lady. Where the old woman at? That's what I be asking. What the older lady at? But you need to keep him happy. Ramsay gets bored easily. Mm. It's good to see the red again. No point hiding anymore. Have you ever seen a body after the dogs have been at it? Mm-mm. Oh, it's your wedding day. Why am I talking about such things? Can't Ramsay have her kill? Be sure. And how long have you loved him, Lorraine? Hmm. Did you imagine that he would be with you forever? Is that it? And I came along and ruined it. I'm Sansa Stark of Winterfell. This is my home. And you can't frighten me. Hmm. Wow. Marina has some balls and but I gotta say, since it's since it's she kind of threw back, huh? Yeah. And she gonna get in trouble for doing that. Huh? I've come to escort you to the godswood, my lady. Will you take my arm? No. <clears throat> Lord Ramsay, he said I'm to take your arm. I'm not touching you. <laughs> Please, he'll punish me. Good. <laughs> I don't think she... I care what he does to you. <laughs> I bet he he like thinking back. Maybe I should. That wouldn't have been my best choice. Yeah. I listen to my daddy. Where is daddy at right now? Sitting up in that doggone sitting up in the castle. Yeah, ruling nobody. <laughs> Staring at his fireplace, probably. <laughs> kind of remind me of that man and uh, what's that movie? Lord of the Rings. Oh, the dad. The king that was bewitched. No. 
the other one. The other, it was a man with long white hair. He killed his son. I think, didn't he? No, he was the, the, the one that, uh, what about? Now y'all gonna have me watch Lord of the Rings just so I can show it to him. I know who you're talking about, but you got it. He killed the son. No, he didn't kill his son. His son was killed by orcs. Sunset of the house Stark comes here to be wed. Who comes to claim her? Ramsay of House Bolton. Lady Sansa, will you take this man? Yes, girl, for you have you killed. I take this man. I'm sorry, I ain't gonna be sleeping on no doggone wood. I mean, like you know, what they they broke out little feather mattresses. It's gotta be very little because I don't see it all. I want you to be happy. My father said you're still a virgin. Yes. Why? I mean, why? Well, well, Tyrion was kind. He was gentle. He never touched me. You're not lying to me. No, my lord. Lying to your husband on his wedding night. That would be a bad way to start a marriage. Oh my God. This fool. He on my list. I'm sorry. Oh, he has been on your list. We should be honest with each other, don't you think? Yes. Oh. Dude, why Tyrion? I mean, what's his name still over there? You didn't get permission to leave. Oh. Take off your clothes. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, Lord. You stay here. You watch. Oh, my God. Do I need to ask a second time? He's evil. He's very evil. Oh, you're going to get a knife and just stab him. Stab him up, Miranda. At least he closed the door. Rick? I told you to watch. You've known Sansa since she was a girl. Now watch her become a woman. Mm, I hate him. <sighs> oh, Lord, Ben. Ba I'm about to kill Baelish. <laughs> Stab him in the back. I'm gonna need Ramsey to die. I'm gonna need Queen Queen Cersei to die. Tomlin can eat Tomlin. This little weak tail. He can even. He need to have an accident because he told him. You see that? He yeah. told him don't. You hear me? He weak. Boy, I, now I miss the dad. I miss Tywin. Because this won't be happening on Tywin's watch. Oh, no. But Cersei, she an evil little heifer. Oh, I can't. She need to die. She need to die, y'all. She need to die. She need to die. Yes, she does. It would serve her right if her daughter, you know, nothing against her child, you know, the daughter, because the daughter ain't did nothing. Serve her right if they sent her her head. And James. I'm just saying, maybe they'll kill her. I'm just saying. And what the? Oh, I miss Tywin well, now. You know old Lennon's going to do something, but she ain't going to stand for that. <laughs> but she old, and ain't nobody else there. Hey. I mean, you got hurt. Oh. Are you freaking serious? You the he the king. How he gonna allow some? Are you freaking kidding me? How he gonna allow some religious people that they just made up on their own because they sent for two because they murdering people? Yeah. How, how you just gonna allow them to come in there and rule? Tom, Tom would have killed them. Oh, yeah. He would have killed them. Yeah. And he wouldn't even care. He would have killed them. They never would. Well, like they said, 
But she using that to her advantage. Well, they said earlier in the season they never would have came to the capital if Tywin was still there. Yeah. Never. Never. Because they know they would have been killed. That's crazy. Y'all, I got my my See, insides. It's kind of like boiling right now. Then you got crazy ass Ramsey. Yeah. He gonna make <laughs> the uh just Man, I tell you, Sansa goes from one shit storm to another shit storm to another shit storm. She just can't get so the break. I, she, she sure can't. So she should have left it's with the gonna, fucking So her, 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 she gonna end up being bitter, a bitter woman, because of all the crap she has been through. And I don't blame her. I don't blame her at all. She gonna end up being bitter, and you know what? I hope her business come out on that Miranda chick. I really do. Kill her in front of what's his name? Rims. So give me something. I, you want to take that from me? I can understand this is, yeah, this is our wedding night, but you took that from her. Mm-hmm. And you did it in front of somebody else. You know? Yeah. He, t- he took that. That wasn't a, a gentle thing. He took that from her. I want his 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 throat slit. I'm sorry. I want his throat slit big time. I'm sorry. This is some bull crap. I'm just some, some bull crap. I told you this season is gonna piss you off. This is some and make bull you happy crap. at the same time. Only thing that's gonna make me happy is Ramsey die, well. Cersei die. That's the only thing that's gonna make me happy. That's the only thing gonna make me happy. Can't tell you if that happens or not. Well, I guess I'm be a pissed off woman until <laughs> I see something good. Well, you only got four more episodes to go. This is crazy, man. This is some bull crap. Yeah. Well, it's... this is some bull crap. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I think I got a title for this episode. This is some bull crap, man. Oh, I'm sorry. I just we got her stomach <laughs> riled up. Oh, Lord Jesus. This is some bull crap. <laughs> I can't even get it. <laughs> She's so frustrated. She can't even talk. All she says, this is some bull crap. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Huh. Yeah. Well, thank you guys for joining us on this journey. As you can see, I'm kind of like pissed off right now with this one. What episode is this? Six? Six. Episode six sucks. I mean, cause nothing good came out of this one. Nothing good came out of this one. Oh, well, they didn't kill Tyrion. That's oh, not yeah. good. Or cut off his, his dwarf hawk, as they say it. <laughs> to, to a merchant. <laughs> yeah. But they did get captured. They did get captured by slavers. So, so did uh, Jamie and, and what's his name? They got uh-huh. captured. Yeah. But so did the Sand Snake. So, yeah. At least Marcella's safe for now. Yeah. Oh, oh, geez. Well, thank you guys for joining us on this journey. We appreciate it. If this is your first time, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. And as always, give us a thumbs up, a like. Or a comment. Keep your comments coming. I so enjoy them. <laughs> Until next time. Bye-bye. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> this is some bullcrap. This is some bullcrap.